Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite my colleague, Harun. Hello, Harun. Hello, Laurent. To discuss about some LEDs, and not just the simple LEDs, there are special LEDs for horticulture. Harun, why are LEDs today such a hot topic? Well, this comes from development of light sources. Conventionally, HID lamps are used in horticulture applications due to their unit price and good results. These characteristics were driven by commercial demands of street lighting industry, pushing down the prices while pushing up the performance. And we see this now being repeated with LEDs. The performance is constantly improving. Harun, what are the benefits to use LEDs in horticulture application? Well, there are numerous benefits. The first that comes to mind is efficiency. As we know, semiconductors are extremely efficient with low losses relative to other light sources. This means you get more light for your electricity. Another benefit is that LEDs are cooler, so they can be placed much closer to the plants, meaning more light can be delivered to the plants. But there are any other benefits? Yes, probably the most interesting part of using LEDs as a light source for horticulture is that they are monochromatic. Again, traditional light sources deliver light over a broad range of wavelengths, meaning you can't control the intensity of specific wavelengths. Plants do not need the whole spectrum of visible lights to grow and develop. They mostly need light in the red and blue wavelengths. This means that conventional sources waste a lot of electricity. Additionally, we can tailor the different wavelengths of light. So a plant receives at different stages of growth to increase desirable characteristics such as root growth or to increase the flavor. What do you think? What will drive the commercialization of such application? Oh, I think at the moment there is much hesitation in the market. Scientific studies repeatedly demonstrate the advantage, but actual case studies on a commercial scale are rare. Farmers are hesitant to invest in a relatively new application that they will be tied into for several years, with no guarantee of being better than conventional sources. It means you can control with the different amount of light and wavelength the growth of the plant? Yes, this has been proven in numerous scientific studies. For example, we can see that plants need much more blue light in early stages to develop good root system. On the other hand, in later stage, more red and more far red boost the blossoming and fruiting. Wow, this is interesting. But I saw that you did develop with your team a demo board for different LEDs and uh, yeah, it's a, what I see, it's a PVM uh, processor here, which makes some uh, light intensity, a controller, and four channels. Um, you have a step-down conversion. You have a constant current on the board. Um, what was your motivation for, for this kind of board? Um, first of all, what you can see here is the four-channel horticulture evaluation kit. Um, what was the intention. This was only for our customers and also for all interested people uh, who want to grow or who want to try their own um, light recipe aboard. That's it. But you say fourth channel. I say blue color. I see the red one, the white one. What is the fourth channel? Um, the first channel is blue. Okay. Here. So the second one, is, uh, as you said correctly, is red. So here, the color which you not really see is the far red here. Okay, I there will be no, change. Yeah, there is no big uh, difference. You will see just only it's light up or not. And then we have white. So okay. So I mean the far red is that red which is close to the infrared. Yes, this is in this specific case which is developed for this kind of uh, application. It's 660 nanometers. Okay. And that can be applied to any plants. Yes, you can use it for any plants, this um, evaluation kit. And um, with these four channels, you can adjust your recipe. Uh -huh. This with, is interesting. With the different colors. And you mean any plant is also good for this kind of lights? Any plant which I can't see, really. <laughs> oh, this is really interesting. OK, cool. So thank you for this explanation. Uh, I like it very well. And I hope you will have some fun with these boards and please watch my next video and don't grow forbidden plants. Bye bye. Bye.